Hello, friends and followers. So here's the uh, the uh, Henry Radio Tempo 1 transceiver, which I picked up. So I wanted to go through this thing, and it wasn't really doing well on 15 meters, and it seemed like on 20 meters it was a bit sloppy in the Pi network. So the Pi network means you're tuning in, going for power output, going for plate dip, and it's a bit, a bit, uh, a bit wide. So that can involve the queue of the circuits of the Pi network. So anyway, I just went through here and replaced C35 here. Uh, this is a uh, 100 puff, and this is a 200 puff here, C, I think 40 it's called. So you can pick up these BoJack capacitors on Amazon, or they used to be available, and these are supposedly three kilovolts. So that should handle the RF requirements of this uh, Tempo 1. So I replaced those and it did give me a little more power out and a bit cleaner of a uh, tuning process. So that's uh, how to do it. Unfortunately, somebody has broken the slug in the 15 meter coil, so I really can't tune it much. But uh, well, these bands are uh, working really well. This is a great little radio. It has a lot of power, output power on all bands. It's really an amazing little radio. And I also replaced this thing here, which is a 500 puff uh, in the finals compartment there, just to make sure this thing is ready to go. And uh, yeah, it seems, uh, it seems pretty good now. Well, let's take it for a spin. At least transmit wise. I also got the crystal calibrator working. I just took the uh, switch out the contacts on the upper part of the switch, when you thrust this down for calibrate, there's contacts up here that weren't really meshing. So I got those all to work and it has calibrate. So once again, I'll start off on 80 meters on this thing. And I'm on a real antenna now. Tune it for peak noise. I'm at the middle of the band exactly, which is where you want to do this testing. And let's try it out. So with this, you take the mic gain down, you tune it, you can take it up a bit, go for a peak. There's a peak right there, a little more mic, and go for a dip. And a little bit of a dip there. I tried to get this accurate too, so it will read 80 meters right there. Let's see, yeah, it's pretty accurate. So yeah, there's some power coming out. Then you can raise the power here a good bit. That's way over overkill, but with that plate current level, almost 200 watts out on 80 meters. So that's how it goes. Let's go to 40 meters here. Same thing, we'll peak this. Take that down a bit, put this around 40 meters about there for the plate. Do a peak, do a dip. Let's see here. Do a dip, there we go. So I'm getting about 75 watts out. Guess I could hike it up a little bit and see how it does. Almost 150 watts out. Of course, that's high plate current, but on sideband, that'll work really well. Okay, 20 meters. Try that. Let's go for, whoa, too much power. This thing really has a good 20 meter band as far as power output. Go for a peak right there. And it should dip around the 14 here. Yeah, it dips a little bit. Not that much, but a little bit. Okay. Power output's what you care about. 20 meters right there. And then we'll hike it up 100 watts or so. So on these upper bands, you can start adding in some load here. And see how you do. Add a little more load. 15 meters this thing likes. There, look at that. It likes having a bit of load on 20 meters. So yeah, on 20, we're about 125 watts, that's all we'll do with that. Let's go to 15. 15's been my trouble band, but it's working pretty well now. So I'll go for a grid on, whoa. A lot of drive now on 15, lots of drive. And go for a dip there, there we go. 
So 15 likes have a bit of load. So I've, I've learned that you put the load about here, 15 is pretty happy. And that takes a real general adjustment to get it just right for 15 to have power. That's just how this thing is. So let's peek the grid again. Whoa, let's see, peek the grid. There it is, what kind of power we got coming out? Not much. Yeah, 15 is squirrely, that's for sure. Let's back off on the load. A little more, a little more load. Yeah, I had 15 putting out a lot of power here. Let's see. A little more load. It's really pinning now. Okay, that's too much load. Let's start about there. That seems more reasonable. We're pinning the meter here, pinning too much plate current. 15, this thing's difficult. A little bit of dip. Yeah, it seems like 15 needs some adjustments still. I had some good power coming out, but it takes some addition to make it work. There's a small dip. Twenty-five watts, yeah. So if I could make that slug move, I could probably get fifteen to put some decent power out. Let's go ten meters here. There's ten. Ten peaks, real nice. Let's go for some power. Wow, it dips nice too. Dips real nice. And yeah, not much power coming out. Give it some gain here. about 50 watts. I can get probably 100 watts out on 10 if I try hard here. Let's try it. There's 50 watts. A little more draw, a little more load. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got a malfunction here. Looks like one of my capacitors just shorted out. So much for that. <laughs>